everybody, Steve Wallace, the ambassador of Urban Soul here, and we are chilling in my crib, sitting on the couch with my wife. It's real, <laughs> real soulful and urban all at the same time. Can you feel it? Feel it? I feel it. You feel it? She feels it. She gets paid to feel it. Get paid to feel it. Really? <laughs> so, so this is like you know I'm just been documenting. Um, the process getting ready to put out Urban Soul. But I mean, what, what, are you, like, what are your thoughts about the movie? Like, you've seen it about 20 million times and you've gone through the process with me, like, yeah, crying about, and screaming at people. Yeah, only about 19 million. 19 million times? Yeah, not 20. Well, 19 million. Yeah, yeah. Are we got to push that up to like 20 million. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Well, I think the movie's <laughs> great. The movie is um, inspiring. It is it is encouraging. It definitely um, it shows you the rawness of um, not just human life, but definitely human life in the urban setting. And then, you know, it, 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 it asks a lot of questions. It puts a lot of questions. Like when I watched it, I walked, I walked away definitely, you know, asking myself questions. Like, am I, you know, one of the questions of being a good neighbor? Am I? You know, loving community well, and also, you know, looking at my neighbors differently too. When I walk down the street now, I think I'm a little, um, if you can believe that, a little, oh, I think I'm a little friendlier, just got louder because I got the key to get louder. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was, it was, I mean, I see people differently, and I think that's a good thing, which I think in turn has made me more human. I've become more human because of seeing people as human. Mm. Um, because of course, when we don't treat people like human, you know, we actually dehumanize ourselves. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Deep. Deep. She's preaching over here, man. So I mean, you, you, all this stuff is these are things that are triggered from watching the movie. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. What are other uh, like other people's responses that you when you're watching people watch the movie? Um, there are several. I mean. Several of my friends wrote in, the album, especially when we had the opening of it. Mm -hmm. um, they should speak up. Oh, when we had the opening, um, several of my friends sent me emails like, "You have to be so proud. Your husband is a genius. Like, this is incredible. This is what needs to be out there." And and it's true. I do think he's a genius, and I am very proud of him. Um, but also, I mean, I think you know, people depending on who they were walked away with different things because. Of course, you show the urban life, but you show many, right. many different aspects of the urban life mm -hmm. and many, many different people and their take on the urban life too. So, of course, the even your audience that was watching was a very diverse group of people. So it was interesting to hear from one person to the next person on their take of the uh, of the movie. So I right. think. Because we, we, we had we had could be like artists there. We had people from church there. Yeah. It was a a great event we had April 29th, which was my birthday. I think it was April 30th or 27th or something. Something like that. It was around my birthday this past year, 2009, um, at Shrine. It was uh, um, one of the rendezvous uh, sessions with Marco Nobles up here in Harlem on 130, was it 34th or something like something that? Something like that. Yeah. 33rd. Yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, it was a really diverse group there. I mean, like. 134th. 133rd. That's what it was. 134th and 133rd. Between, between 133rd yes. and 134th. On Anna Clayton Powell Boulevard. Or 7th Ave. 7th Ave. 7th Ave. So anyway, yeah, and it was, was a very diverse group there, and they all, you saw that they took different things away from them. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And then when we watched it with our family, because we also watched it at the family reunion, it was definitely, you know, I think yeah. parts of it definitely because, um, like for instance, your mom being able to, kind of live some of the stories that that um, you had told her before we even got married. That right, was actually right, right, interesting because, right. you know, throughout the thing, she was like, Robbie's coming! It's coming! <laughs> now go and get Robbie! Yeah, yeah. And, and it, just, just for FYI, a lot of the um, relationship songs on this album are based on, like, a relationship I had, like, years, years ago, like, maybe 2003 or something like that. That's when I wrote some of the stuff. And I actually got to live through it again doing the movie. And, and Crystal Hill, who was the uh, 
my ex-girlfriend in the movie, she played Rochelle. Great actress. Great actress. Yes. And she um, she did a really good job of taking me back to that place. I was like <laughs> feeling the same feelings. I was getting mad and I didn't know what to do about it and stuff. So she really, was really great at, at really triggering that for me. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that was definitely something like watching, you know, my, my experiences with New York when I first moved here, dating, how some things were different. And, just living in the city, and, and actually there's a song on Urban Soul called In the City, where in the video version, my uh, my sister-in-law, so to speak, uh, Kristen Carper Carpenter, plays a, uh, a, a uh, allegorical symbol version of the city itself. She like personifies the city, and the song is talking about that, talking about the city as a woman, and how it's uh, like my childhood love, but not as shy. I'm originally from Chicago, shy town. Um, so, see, got that, that huh? Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm thinking, y'all, I'm thinking! Thinking about this stuff. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, because I got a big head, I think a lot. Oh, my. Uh, anyway, yeah. Kristen Carpenter. Carpenter, yeah, wonderful dancer, and she was wonderful to step in and be a part of the project as well. What are, like, what's a song, or a couple of songs you might, that really struck you that's better in the movie? Um, some of my favorite songs, one is the, um, uh, uh, sorry, I probably won't get the title of it, but I'll it tell you, right? <laughs> I can hear it in my head, but it never How's comes it out. It never comes out. It never comes out the same as I hear it up here. So one of the ones is about um, Metro Gotham Town, of course. That's Metro one. Gotham Town. Yes. yes, that's one of my favorite. Um, packages is another one of my favorite. Which one is that? Packages. 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 Like one of my very, very favorite ones too. But I think Metro, Met, Metro Gotham Town was definitely one of the ones that had a really huge impact on me as far as like living in the city. And I think it did a very, it was very, um, it made it very vivid of life in the city too and our responses to the city and how it's so easy to respond in the city in one way, which of course, like I said, when you respond in one way, how it determines you know how human you are too um, and then responding in a completely different way in the same setting um, right. can also characterize you know even being more human hmm Metro Gotham and Packages yes that's good I like those songs yeah those are actually two of the um, like last songs I wrote on the album yes yeah most of the album was done those are like the, the, the I wrote those a couple years ago I like those yeah, yeah. and I like so so cool. See, she can sing, see? Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. But yeah, you know, it was a, it was a um, very interesting process going through this and finishing the movie and everything. And, but we're real thankful that it's done. Very and real that thankful that, that everyone out there is, will get a chance to see it, see pieces of it here on, on YouTube, on stevewallacemusic.com, other places on the internet. Please. Go and uh, search for Urban Soul, the movie, Steve Wallace, Urban Soul. 2.0. Urban Soul 2.0, the movie. There'll be a premiere coming to your neighborhood soon. And if you want one, if you want a premiere in your neighborhood, it can happen. Just hit us up on MySpace, hit us up on uh, stevewallacemusic.com. We'll come to where you guys are, and we'll have a, a sit-down discussion. I love talking about things, about, you know, community issues and spiritual issues so we can sit and talk about what the movie means to you and we can have dinner or something. So, <laughs> and she'll cook. Yes. Yeah. Um, or if she wants to. If she wants to cook, she will. I will cook. Okay. She makes great homemade biscuits too. That's and a true. Kahlua cake. Go to Triangle Cafe and get Triangle a Kahlua, Cafe. Kahlua cake. Kahlua Cafe. On 1, 121st and 8th Avenue. But anyway. <clears throat> Thanks you guys for watching this. It's good to have you in the house. Maybe we'll invite you by again soon. Again soon. And uh, hope you have a good day. Peace. Bye. Urban Souls, Steve Wallace. Got here.